We are in 2012 now, and smartphones are becoming more and more popular. We all know about the iPhone and other smartphones running Android or Windows Phone 7. Although BlackBerry is getting behind now, it's still popular. But now, let's go back a few years, to 2007 to be exact. Back then, the iPhone just came out and it looked like this. No app store, no home screen wallpaper, primitive jailbreak apps and tweaks for people who hacked it, and so on. During this period where everyone was so hyped up about the iPhone, however, of course, there were other smartphones too. Android didn't exist. Windows Phone was called Windows Mobile and back then they were at version 6.0. And the Blackberry was very popular. Unlike now, where most consumers who use the keyboard have it, in earlier days, only business users had a BlackBerry for things like its email capabilities, BlackBerry Enterprise Server, and so on. To show what phones are like at that time, let's check out one of them that I have here, the BlackBerry A830. Here it is. The first iPhone came out while there was this. No touch screen physical keyboard, and dedicated features which we're gonna look further into right in this video. This is also called the BlackBerry 8830 World Edition because it has both CDMA and GSM technologies. We all know that, or maybe if you didn't know, now you know, the iPhone did not have both CDMA and 3G until the iPhone 4S. This one had them already. On the front, there's the earpiece, the typical BlackBerry status LED, the typical BlackBerry buttons, keyboard, this little hole is the microphone. On the left side there is a... let me turn on the light so you can see. On the left side there is a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. Yes, you need an adapter if you want to plug in your average headphones. Mini USB port shortcut key or convenience key and contacts for when you need to put the phone into a holster on the bottom there's nothing yes my phone is pretty beat up of course it's quite old and the original owner was not me on the right side there are just the volume buttons on the top there's a power button speaker and mute button And on the back, yes, there's no camera. Again, most, if not all, smartphones back in that day were not designed for the average consumer. Let's take off the back cover. I have to hold it with some tape because it won't stay on its own. Here is the battery, the SIM card slot for when you have to use the phone outside the US and micro SD card slot. I have a 1 GB micro SD card and this phone is not compatible with micro SD HC. I've tested it. To save time I'm, I'm, I didn't take the battery out so the startup will be quicker. And here is the home screen. Over here we have time, date, battery, carrier, signal strength, Profile, owner information, and uh, indica lock indicator. I'm going to unlock it now. You have inserted the SIM card. Would you like your BlackBerry to automatically select CDMA or GSM based on the network availability? No. And here it is. Now, I get a signal because I unlocked this phone, but this phone is supposed to be locked to the SIM card that the carrier gives you if you go outside the US. And this is the BlackBerry OS 4 home screen. This BlackBerry and I think other Verizon Blackberries of that time had another theme which I'm gonna show you now. You can see the preview there, I'm gonna set the theme now. And this is what it looked like. Here are the 
top icons, the wallpaper which you can change, and if you press the menu button or Blackberry button, you get the full menu. This phone runs Blackberry OS 4.5, but it originally came with 4.2, and you can downgrade to it, but I was too lazy to do that. Let's try out the keyboard. If you go to SMS and MMS, you can see, unlike the, the newer Blackberries, the messages aren't sorted uh, by the person, but they are just the messages, both sent and received, are all in one place. So let's try to compose a new SMS. Let's type in a random number. And I'm gonna try writing the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. There. Now, a uh, lot of the old reviews on the, on the internet say that this device has a bad keyboard, but actually I kind of liked it. The only other Blackberry I've tried uh, on my own hands is the Blackberry Curve A520, I think the number is, and the keyboard I didn't like the keyboard on that phone as much as this one. Yes, I'd say it's quite good for me. Not sure about you. More specs. The screen is 6.2 centimeters, which trans translates to 2.44 inches. So I guess that's like 2.5 inches or 2.4 inches. Whatever. Now you know what the size is. And the resolution is 320 by 240 which on this size display doesn't look too bad. Anyway, let's check out more. I can't show you things like the browser and email because the SIM card I have here is not configured to go to the internet. Let's see, setup wizard. The only languages this device has are English, Spanish and French. I deleted French to free up some memory. Introduction to Blackberry tells you about the buttons. Font. The original 4.2 firmware didn't have BB Alpha Sans and BB Alpha Serif. I think the default was BB Milbank, but I have no idea. Email setup? Of course, I can only pretend to use BES, but actually that doesn't work either. Messages is like actually emails. They are all emails combined. Your mailbox. SMS and MMS, media, of course there's no camera, but you can still put MP3s in the micro SD card. The internal memory is 64 megabytes, and I can't get more than 3 megabytes free, so you have to use a micro SD card. And here are the songs I have. I really don't think this one is flack, and I'm not gonna play any any of these because last time I tried it, it froze and I had to take out the battery and put it back in. Videos, there are no videos. The original firmware had a sample video, but on the later firmware it was removed. Ringtones, this one is one of my favorites. Another thing I don't like about the new 4.5 OS is that the ringtones are shorter. The original ringtones were longer. I think they did this to save space, but they didn't work very well. And I had the longer ringtones in an SD card, but not in the one I have here. So they don't show up in my ringtones. Pictures, of course, pictures. By the way, this phone can send and receive files via Bluetooth. And something new in OS 4.5 is voice notes. You can record. It's like voice memos. So let's try recording something. This is a test. And 
I don't think you should use this as your main voice recorder because the quality isn't very good. Maybe if I can play. This is the test. Like the quality is very bad. Delete. Compose. Just compose a new email. Call log. Blackberry Messenger. This is a newer version. I think it's 5.0 that works on other on older operating systems too. Calendar, create new appointments, address book, maps, this phone had GPS. You could potentially get directions, yes, get directions. But I don't think they are turn by turn, I haven't tried that. And it's pretty slow. The technologies this phone has, as I already said, are GSM and CDMA. This phone does not have anything faster than GPRS. So no Edge or 3G or anything as fast as that, or maybe faster. Other things are like... scroll up. Tasks, memo pad, help hack, voice dialing. Like, we all know that there's Siri now, and other alternatives. And let's check out voice styling on this Blackberry. And if it freezes, I'm gonna end the video because I really don't want to wait for it to restart. Say a command. Oh, there you go. So call, check, and turn prompts off. Let's try checking. Say a command. Check. Please choose. Status. Battery. Medium. Signal strength. Good. Coverage. Phone coverage. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's... I'm not gonna try calling. I'm gonna try calling without the voice. To test the call quality. So let's try typing uh, an 800 number. and activate the speakerphone. Not toll free if called from outside the United States. You will be charged at international direct dial rates. If you do not wish to be charged, please hang up now. Okay, so the quality was was quite good. The volume wasn't very loud, but the quality was good. And I can say that the quality from the earpiece is also good. Also the volume is good. Calculator, uh, just the usual calculator, alarm, help for learning how to use the BlackBerry, search, you can search inside these categories, and 4.5 supported the BlackBerry app world, which you can use to download apps like Facebook and WhatsApp. That Those are the only two apps that I have. Then there are the options. Set up Bluetooth. Manage connections. There's no Wi-Fi, by the way. Lock and turn power off. That's it. Again, I can show you the email and the browser. And I also have Opera Mini installed, which is hidden on this theme for some reason. Oh, and also Brick Breaker, the, the very famous brick breaking game. I really suck at this, but it's also the trackball's fault. I have Opera Mini, but of course, of course it's not gonna work. There, let's try loading, if I can scroll down maybe, let's try loading Facebook, it's not gonna work of course. There. So that's basically it for this BlackBerry 8830. That's how smartphones were in 2007 before or right when the iPhone came out. I'm gonna turn it off now, turn power off. All Blackberries are like this. And I'm going to end this video. So, there you go. So, thank you for watching.